Hello everyone, today I will show you how to create your own Montessori beads to teach children math. I made this set for about $13 and today I will show you how to create your own set. These beads are great for teaching children patterns, sorting, number quantity, skip counting, adding, subtracting, and even multiplication. So today I will show you how you can easily create this to teach your toddlers all the way up to elementary school. So the first thing you will need is, you will need these crafting beads, or they call them pony beads. I got them at Michael's. You can get them at your local craft stores. And this whole set costs about $4.99. You will also need bell twisted wire. I got this at the Home Depot. You will need 18 feet of this wire. It cost about 30 cents for two feet, so it was a total of about $5. As you can see, it comes twisted into two different colors and you, and you untwist it to make your beads. I used both colors to make the beads to make the best use of these wires. I didn't want to go out and keep buying the white wire, which would have looked the nicest. Uh, so I used both colors to make these beads so that the project was um, the least expensive possible. You will also need scissors. As you can see, the beads are all different colors. The Montessori curriculum follows a specific color for each quantity. For red, for, yeah, for number one, it is red. For number two, it is green. For three, it's pink. Four, yellow. Five, blue. Six, lavender. Seven, white. Eight, for the Montessori, it's brown. But I wanted to make use of these beads, and they didn't bring brown, so I went ahead and I used black. And I will consistently use black uh, for the for the eight quantity. For Montessori, the nine it's blue, darker blue, and the ten is gold for Montessori. But I used this color, which is like an orange color, because that is what these beads brought. I wanted to work with what the beads, this set of beads brought, so I went ahead and used the colors closest to the Montessori curriculum. The only two colors that I was not able to find in this set of pony beads was the brown and the gold. But I used as much as possible the closest colors to it. So this will work. So to make the beads, um, let's say we want to make the this bead like right here. Let's make the let's make one of these to show you guys how to make it. Okay? So this is the sixth quantity. So, as you can see, I used mainly all of them are white, and the red ones are the 1, the 8, the 9, and the 10. So, I'm going to go ahead and create it white, the 6 quantity. So, I take the, the wire that I want to work with, I separate it, here I have it. So, I'm going to create 6 purple ones. 1, 2, 3, four, five, and six. And once you have all of the beads in there, you want to turn the end here, just like this, and then you want to tighten it up right here at the end, just like this, you see that? And then you want to push the bony beads, pony beads, right? Make it really tight, push it all the way to the end, just like this. Then you want to get to the other side and you want to do the same thing. You want to fold in the end of the wire. Just like this. And you want to cut right where it meets the bead. Once you've cut it, you want to twist in the wire all the way in to put it through the bead. You want to make it as tight as possible and then you want to squeeze that wire. Once you conform this wire to being a particular form, it is very hard to undo it. And here we got it, guys. 
It is very easy to make, very inexpensive, and these Montessori beads are very durable. Now, for this box that you have here, the, the organizer box, I got for $2.99 at the craft store. It came with 17 different sections. For the bigger beads, I cut out the middle section here, as you can see the cut here, to fit the bigger beads. So this bead organizer costs about $2.99. I got it at Michael's. You can get it at your local craft stores very cheaply. Then I went ahead and I put dots to number each section so that it's easy for the child to put it back in the correct order. I hope this video has been helpful. I hope that you will create your own Montessori beads for your children or for your students. For more educational toys and activities, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.